Hello, and welcome to this high jump analysis video brought to you by High Jump Help. High Jump Help will analyze your high jump videos for free. Please send your videos to coachwhite at highjumphelp.com for a chance to have your video reviewed for free on YouTube like this one. When analyzing videos, we always use the four baby steps of high jump. High Jump Help's proven framework to learn how to high jump. The four baby steps are one, the approach, two, the takeoff, three, the knee drive, and four, the overbar mechanics, also known as the backbend. The high jump baby steps are in order of importance and each baby step builds off the others, so always do them in order. While coaching, remember, a person can only focus on one coaching cue at a time. So while coaching, prioritize what one cue you will tell your athlete by working through the four baby steps. Start with the approach and end at the overbar mechanics or the back. First off, thank you to Kuzi for submitting this video. Kuzi is a brand new high jumper, so good luck this season. So the first thing we'll look at is the approach. So overall, the athlete's approach looks pretty good. The jumper does a good job of progressively getting faster all the way until those last steps those last steps being the quickest. So the only suggestion that I have is just to ensure that this approach is measured out and recorded somewhere. Not having a measured out approach is a pretty common mistake for new high jumpers. Next, let's take a look at his takeoff. Initially, it looks pretty good. His shoulders are away from the bar and his plant is at about a 45 degree angle to the mat. The athlete can do a better job with his head though. Here you'll notice that his arms are going up just like they should be, but his head is already going in towards the bar. Where your eyes and head go, your body follows, so an athlete always wants to make sure to keep that head away from the bar during the takeoff. Next we'll take a look at the knee drive. Here you can already tell he's got it across his body and he's driving it up to the bar. So that looks pretty good. One thing you'll notice though is he straightens his legs out here very very straight um, this is going to cause issues in the overbar mechanics or the back bend which we'll talk about next here so overall you'll notice that the athlete in the overbar mechanics goes over the bar very flat and that's again because this knee drive here that's so good up to this point, he straightens his legs out and that's why he's so flat. So the overbar mechanics or the back bend is a lot like an ice skater on the ice. When she's going, when she's twirling, she tucks her arms in and she spins faster because all of her body is closer to her center of gravity. The same goes for the high jump back bend. So if we can think about the center of gravity being here, and us getting our feet and our head closer to it, we will rotate faster. Last thing, um, and this is pretty common with new high jumpers, is you'll notice the athlete's head. Um, he wants to look to see if he clears the bar right here, and as soon as he brings his chin down, his hips drop as well. What we want to focus on again is thinking about being close to that center of gravity here and continuing to drive all the way. Now let's talk about what the athlete should work on in practice. The first drill I would have this athlete work on is circle runs. See a link to the video on your screen. Circle runs position the athlete's body correctly during the takeoff. 
Here the athlete can focus on keeping his arms and head away from the bar and also practicing rotation over the bar. The second drill I would have the athlete work on are back bends, which can be done off the ground or off of a box. Since this athlete is new, he should practice back bends so he knows how driving his shoulders to the mat feels like. A second reminder that High Jump Help will analyze your high jump videos for free. Please send your videos to Coach White at highjumphelp.com to have your videos reviewed. If you are interested in educating yourself in the high jump and learning more about the four baby steps of high jump, check out the High Jump 101 eCourse. A link is below in the description. You can try out the introduction to the eCourse for free by clicking on the video on your screen. For more resources, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit our website, Facebook page, or Instagram. All the links are in the description below.